let's make this cute vintage farmhouse truck out of this Dollar Tree uh, truck cutout and this Dollar Tree farmhouse tile. First, I took all the accessories off of the truck. We don't need those little bumpers. And I took a scraper to scrape all of the glitter off because I want to adhere that tile piece right to the front of this truck and I don't want anything to get in the way and make it pop off. I went ahead and took the tile, I traced the truck and went ahead and cut the truck out. But as you can see, the truck was much lar larger than this tile piece itself. So I took another tile, taped them together with some ta painter's tape and then cut out that little extra piece on the back end of the truck. Once that was done, I went ahead and took some hot glue and glued them right to the front of that truck. Now guys, these tiles actually have a sticky component to the back of them. Um, you don't always have to use hot glue, but for whatever reason, the one that I had was defective and the sticky component did not work. So um, I went ahead and used the hot glue. Um, then I took some Waverly chalk paint in the color of plaster and completely color painted, sorry, um, that truck, the tile piece on the front of that truck. Once it was done, I took my blow dryer to blow it dry to make sure that it was dry before I got my detail brush out. Got the detail brush and started um, painting on the, the detail components of this truck. You can see I'm painting the wheels, um, the windshield there, the, the passenger, the driver's window, the bed of the truck. And then once that was all complete, you guys, I took my detail brush and went all around the entire edge of the truck giving it that definition so that it just made it look more like a truck itself. Now don't forget, if you are not comfortable freehand painting to make sure that you either take a picture of what the truck looked like before, or you have a second one to look at as your model. Um, then I took the little wooden tag, um, it comes in white, and I took the sanding paper and sanded it down to get that wood coming through to make it that um, dirty looking vintage look that I love. Um, took some sage chalk paint that you could find in my store and painted that on there set it off to the side to let it dry Then I took some flowers and a couple different um, variety of flowers that I found at Dollar Tree Cut the stems off down just to the back end of the flowers and glued them there in the back of the truck Looking like the flowers are coming out of the bed of the truck Then I'm gonna go ahead and add some euc eucalyptus leaves. Uh, I think I got these off of Amazon just giving it that extra color that it needs to make that green and that tag pop. Then I took the sanding block on that tag again now that it's dry and uh, roughed it up a little bit to give it that worn vintage look. As you can see that brown's popping through there. Then we're gonna take um, this uh, transfer and this particular one is from our spring collection. This is Bloom and Grow. And I'm using the uh, two chalk paint there I have um, Wisteria and Shimmer Plumber, and that Shimmer shimmer Plum is um, a little sparkly, um, but mixed together, it's not super sparkly, and it just is just really beautiful together. It gives it a lot of definition. Added some twine to the hole on that tag and put a bunch of ribbons together that I, once again, I got at the Dollar Tree to make a cute little tag. I love to use um, fabric. You just cut a strip and then you tear it, and you can use that in, in ribbon, you can use it as your tie. As you can see, I use that to tie off my ribbon. I'm gonna adhere that to the gift tag, and then we're gonna uh, glue that right onto the front of that truck. Once it was done, I adhered that to another round that I had that was stained with a brown stain and had some black stripes on it and made it one cute little sign. Thanks for watching.